So physical, I was kind of stuck in terms of my lifting. Uh, I could barely squat two plates. I think I could deadlift like two plates and change maybe, uh, but I didn't even dare try for one rep max when my, my running was okay. Uh, I wasn't really super fast or I couldn't run for super long distances either. So I guess my endurance was not in top shape and uh, my strength was okay, uh, but I knew it could do more. So I kind of stalled. When I went vegan, I feel like I've built the most of my muscle. <laughs> so I was how old, 24? Uh, yeah, and by then I was lifting somewhat, but I didn't really stick to any program. I was constantly trying to diet and just look skinnier and look smaller. Uh, so I've had eating disorders from college. I didn't really have a good relationship with my body. Uh, and when the focus was moved from like what is happening to me, but from to uh, having the products that are also good for the environment and for the animals, I feel like that was really healthy for for the mental and in terms of strength, well, I PR'd in all the lifts and I've competed in bodybuilding and powerlifting since I went vegan, so there's that. I actually have a squat record for my weight category at our gym right now, which I don't know, maybe people will beat soon, but I'm competing soon, so hopefully I can beat that again. <laughs> uh, let's see, what is it? 320, 320 pounds. And I was weighing 150 at the time of competing, 150 pounds. So 68 kilograms, uh, and that was USAPL. So, um, United States uh, Powerlifting Association. My blood was terrible and then I went to the doctor because uh, I actually went to my OBGYN and asked like, hey, is there anything potentially bad in terms of vitamins, nutrients, what, what should I get? Is there anything bad that can happen to me if I go fully plant-based? And um, she obviously just told me to take B12, which I already was, uh, and other vitamins, a general multivitamin and omega-369, uh, and nothing bad happened. But uh, the interesting part is uh, asked how soon can I retest to see how much my new diet improved my blood? And uh, after eight weeks, uh, the bad cholesterol dropped three times and my good cholesterol went up. And it kind of stayed in the green zone ever since. So I feel like if anybody is ever doubting what plant-based diet could do to them, why don't you run an eight-week experiment and prove it to yourself? If it doesn't work, then I guess it doesn't work. And um, I, I highly doubt it doesn't, but then if it does work, how can you deny the benefits? <laughs> Uh, my name is Katya Gorbachova and I am a vegan, now powerlifter, used to be bodybuilder. I'm originally from Russia. My coach right now is Alexei Bakhirev, who is uh, number one IPF in Masters. He just got that in August of 2021. I went vegan about five years ago, a little over five years, when uh, I got my blood tested at work. Uh, so I was lifting very heavy, my dad is really into lifting, and uh, I was enjoying it, running, trying to lean out, uh, trying to get as shredded as possible and as strong as possible, right? Everybody's dream when they're young and right out of college. They had free blood testing at work, and I was uh, borderline risk for heart disease. My bad cholesterol was really high, my uh, good cholesterol was really low, triglycerides were uh, really terrible, so I just started Googling for some solutions and found a vegan documentary. I think it was Cowspiracy and the Forks Over Knives. Watched those, was really inspired, uh, was really upset that nobody has told me that before. So I was really ready to just cut out all of the bad things. So I guess my world before revolved around, you know, this is a good thing to eat, this is a bad thing to eat. What they teach girls at a young age, uh, I guess, don't eat bread, eat this. Uh, so before I tried uh, to eat paleo and cut out uh, grains, breads, carbs, um, even milk. So I already wasn't eating dairy. So I was like, all right, now I guess I need to add back the grains because what else am I gonna eat? So I added tofu that I did not know how to cook. It was really awful. I added the beans. My stomach was not ready for that much fiber. That, that, was, that was a nightmare for like about a month. <laughs> but I was relentless and I didn't give up. I learned how to cook those things. And um, slowly over time, I got more comfortable with more plant-based things. 
uh, and still, I guess, uh, ate some things that I used to that were not vegan before. But over time, I ate uh, less and less animal products and started cutting out animal products from things around me, such as, uh, you know, I wasn't buying leather for a long time, but I was even trying to not buy like consigned leather. The products for skin and for the house are cruelty free instead of uh, wool, opt for other things in terms of sweaters and clothing. So started paying attention to things like that. And probably only in 2019, uh, when I competed in bodybuilding for the first time and was invited to speak at the Durham Veg Fest, Raleigh Veg Fest, Wake Forest Veg Fest, and Charlotte Veg Fest, I met a bunch of activists who were like, wait, you're not doing this for the animals? You know, you selfish prick. I mean, they didn't say that, but the, that's how I felt. I felt like I was really late on the ethical game because that's the number one reason that people should be vegan or plant-based, right, for that and for the environment. Um, so outside of my, my own health, um, the environment, I guess, was number two for me always because I'm an engineer by education. Having taken a bunch of environmental uh, sciences courses at Duke, I was really adamant on you know, saving energy, reducing waste, recycling, but the best thing you can do for the environment is just to reduce animal consumption. Uh, so that clicked. And then with this third element of the ethical uh, veganism clicked, uh, I feel like now I got the full picture and that's probably something that keeps me mostly plant-based until this day. Mm -hmm.